Now let's take a minute to check in on some of your thoughts regarding our big story from last night. Our bridge expert Anthony Masuk walked us through some of the possible changes on the way for several of the interchanges leading up to the I-5 bridge. There are seven in total and all will be remodeled in one way or another when those new bridges are built. And it's going to cost two to three billion dollars for those interchanges. But it also means that commutes for many of you will be changing as well. Roger wrote to us, thank you for explaining and showing how complicated it will be to get all this done around the bridge. Hope I live long enough to see it and drive it when completed. Jim had a similar thought. 11 years ago, we lived in the Bridgeton neighborhood off Marine Drive. The last time the new bridge was proposed and failed. I said at the time it probably be, would not be built in my lifetime. So here we are again. I'm not any younger. I still don't think I'm going to see it completed. And we want to thank Kathy for this kind note. Pat, you almost apologized for bringing us this very interesting and complicated story on how we'll get on and off the new bridge. The video showing that will change and why was very enlightening. Although these were presented as ideas in the works, it's stuff that will certainly be impacted by. Thanks for the important information. Thank you, Kathy. And we'll end on this email from Gail, who kept it short and sweet. You want to know what my opinion is on the new bridge? Arg! Thanks for all those comments, and you can bet that whenever we learn new information about the bridge project, which is sure to affect all of us for years and years and years to come, we'll bring it to you right here on The Story.